Hey YouTube, Colorful Codes here. Um, today I want to do a video for our quarantine and code series. Uh, I want to do the move zeros to the end of the list question. Um, I've seen this a ton of times. I've seen it on Pramp.com in a mock interview, LeakCode.com, CodeWars.com uh, as well. Uh, and I've seen it in the top 100 most common interview questions for Leak Code. So I thought this would be very valuable. Uh, it's a Leak Code easy. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, so finally got a microphone this time. So hopefully it's clearer uh, and the light is brighter. <laughs> um, and I'll be doing another variation of this tomorrow. Pero en español. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna show you in my um, in my text editor first, and then I'm going to put it into Leak Code and Code Wars, and then I'm gonna sh walk you through the algorithm in Python Tutor, and finally I'll do it. Um, I'll do tests. So. Yeah, I'll just run the tests and everything will pass, hopefully. This should be a very quick tutorial, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay, so let's go. All right, so here we have our move zeros question on leak code. Um, so we'll be given an output of this. Um, this is going to be our array, and then we are going to have to move all the zeros to the array. We're going to just move right through and have uh, all the zeros be towards the end. So we cannot create another list. Um, it has to be in place. Um, and as you can see, we also have that same question here. Uh, however, this time we'll be given false. So false equates to zero in binary. So I'm just going to have an algorithm that will pass both of these tests. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to get started. Uh, going to go to my text editor. Um, all right, so we have a function. We're going to call it move zeros. Um, this is how leak code spells move zeros. Um, code word spells it with just the O, but that's fine. And then it's going to take an array. And then we're going to have two variables, one called read. It's going to be zero set to zero and one called write. This is going to be set to zero as well. So then we're going to have our first, uh, what do you call this, edge case. Um, so we're going to have if, let's see, so if array equals just an empty list, uh, we're just going to return an empty list. Um, and then we're going to have our first for loop. So we're going to say for i in array. Um, and then we're going to have it, so we're going to check if i does not equal 0 um, or i is false. So we're going to check um, in, the, in the Code Wars variation. Um, we have to loop through the array, and they're just going to give us a caveat, and they're going to put false in there. Uh, if we say if i uh, does not equal 0 only, uh, the computer is going to read it as um, it's going to read false as zero, so it's going to move false to the end as well, and we don't want that. We just want it to move to zeros, so we're going to use that or i is false, um, and then we're going to have array write. Let me get my glasses. <laughs> array write equals array read. Um, and then we're going to have read increment plus equals 1, and we're going to have write e plus equal 1. Um, so as it's walking through the list, it's going to write is going to stand behind, um, and read is going to be reading it. So I'm going to show you with Python Tutor how this works. Um, and then we're going to have our else statement. Else read is just going to move straight ahead. Um, and then as we get towards the end, we're going to have our array. And it's going to have uh, all of the numbers overwritten, uh, including the 0. So we want to go back through, and we want to say for um, for zeros or for i. For zeros in range right to the length of the array. 
and we're going to set that to um, we're going to set array we're going to set the zeros to equal zero um, and yeah and so then we're just going to return <laughs> we're just going to return the array um, and here I'm going to just do a print statement just so that we can see move zeros and we're just going to give it a list um, don't worry if I'm moving too fast. I'm going to walk through with Python Tutor. Uh, so we're going to have 8, 1, 0, 3, get us 0, and 12. All right. So we're going to test this, and hopefully it passes. Um, shoot, this light is blocking. All right, so... Let me see. All right, so we're going to have Python. We're going to do move zeros. Oops. It says false is not defined. Uh, actually, false has to be a capital. All right. And C, so we have we, we gave it this list. You see 8, 1, 0, 3, 0, 12. Um, and it moved all of the zeros to the end. So I'm going to copy this code. Um, just going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it both in. Let's try. I'm going to paste it in here in Code Wars and hopefully it passes. So remember, it wants to move all the zeros, only the zeros and not the falses. Um, and so let's just test. Oops, we have two. Yay! <laughs> all right, and then attempt. Oh, by the way, if you have a Code Wars account, you should follow me. <laughs> um, and also, I'm going to do the same here. Uh, and it's going to work. So we're just going to run the code. <laughs> All right, so we got it. And we're just going to submit it. Uh, see if it passes. Oh, it's faster than 97% of Python 3. We killed it, guys. <laughs> all right, and then now I'm just going to post the code. Um, just grab it all. I'm going to post it in Python Tutor so that you guys understand exactly what just happened uh, if you need a visual. So Python Tutor is the best tool to use. Uh, it's going to walk through each step of the code. It's 40 steps, so we're going to just have the function here. This is the list that we put in. Um, it's going to define the variables. Uh, it's going to pass that edge case. And then it's going to go to the list. So we're going to start off at 8. Um, and we're going to check, does it, does it not equal 0? So it doesn't equal 0. So then uh, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> I actually should have gave it a false so that this would uh, actually let me give it a false too <laughs> because we want to do all the tests and you don't want to say uh, false equals you want to say false is um, all right so if it is false we want to uh, keep it in its place so we're going to have array, array write and equal array read. Uh, so that's going to stay the same. And then we're going to have read increment and then write increment. Boom. Uh, it's going to go again. We're going to have now i is 8. Uh, it's going to see that it's not a 0. And, and it, yeah, it's not a 0. It's not false either. Uh, so then it's going to keep it in its place because array write and array read are the same. Um, and then it's going to do the same now i is 1. It's going to equal the same thing because write and read are the same. Now, here we, here we get to 0. Now i equals 0. 
we're going to check if i does not equal zero, but it does. So we're going to move to the else statement, and we're going to go ahead. So read is going to be ahead of write. Okay, so read is ahead, um, and then now we're going to continue moving. Now i is equal to three. Um, sorry, i i is. Oops, I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, so the value of i is three, and i does not equal zero, and it does not equal or false. Um, so then we're going to have array write, which is three. So that's uh, index three. And we're going to set it to array read, which is four. So did you just see that change? It changed from zero to three. So it basically copied over here. Um, and then we're going to continue again. And then now write is going to increment ahead. So now write equals four. So write is over here. <laughs> yeah, write is here. Um, and read is over here. So read is ahead of, ahead of write by one. And then we're going to go through again. And now i equals zero again. So now read is going to be twice ahead. So now we're going to go to the list. We incremented read by one. Read is six, write is four. We're going to move again. If i does not equal zero, which it doesn't because i is 12, we're going to continue. So now we're going to overwrite again. So here, this 12 is going to move here. No, sorry. This 12 is going to move here because we have write still stuck here in place. So now write is 12. So after that, so we're just going to increment and okay so finally we are at the end um, and then we're going to move down and we're going to iterate we're going to do four zeros in the range of right so right now right is five um, and then we're going to go to the length of the array so the length of the entire array although there is six indices uh, it's, the length of the array has seven items um, so the way that range works is that it starts at the first argument and it ends at what does it end at? <laughs> it ends right before uh, the last argument. So then we're just going to move and we're going to set uh, index 5 to 0, but it's already 0. Um, and then we're going to move again to index 6 and we're going to set that to 0. And then finally, we are going to return the entire list. So yeah, um, so that's basically how that algorithm goes. I hope that me putting it in Python Tutor was helpful for you um, because I feel like it's it's pretty ideal in these situations, even though I moved through the original code really fast. Um, so that's all. So um, finally, I'm just going to show you how I have it uh, on my uh, um, computer because I also have this is instance statement um, because I like to write tests for everything. Uh, if you want to write tests, um, we all we have everything else besides this right here. The if is instance. So it just checks uh, if if what was given is an actual list. Um, and yeah, and you can just see the test here. Um, this, this is an assert equals. This is asserting false. Uh, this is, you know, when you give it a empty list, this should raise an error. Um, and yeah. So basically, we tested everything. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Wait. Um, so yeah, so I hope this tutorial helped you and gave you an understanding. Um, Hopefully I didn't move too fast. I didn't really walk through and explain the code at the time because I was going to do Python Tutor at the end. Uh, so I'll be doing some more quarantine and code videos. So let me know what you think. Um, the next question, the next one I would do would probably be a valid parenthesis or sli a sliding window problem. Um, yeah, so stay safe out there and thanks for watching this video. You take care. Bye.